here we are in a different section of the garden with another aspect of preparing your garden for winter. Now, a lot of times we have mice or voles in our garden that will tend to eat our plants, especially our perennial plants. They'll eat the roots or the crowns and come spring nothing will be there. So what you want to look for is you want to look for perennials that have sort of a mop head to them such as this liriope does. And what it does is it creates a shelter for the mice. And underneath it's very warm and cozy and the mice will tend to live under here. And if the plant is a good food plant for the mice, they'll literally eat it off at the crown level. So what you want to do is you want to come in in the fall and you want to prune these plants down all the way to the ground. Daylilies are a classic one that mice will live under. At my own home, uh, they lived under a red hot poker plant. Uh, and they literally ate it off at crown level. Now fortunately they didn't eat the growing points, but I came out in the spring and the whole top just lifted off from the ground. Uh, so just to encourage you to look for plants that have this type of characteristic of providing shelter for the mice, what we call safe haven, and we do. We want to come in and prune these to the ground then uh, to eliminate the hiding places for the mice and help to ensure that our perennials will survive the winter. This particular perennial uh, is an evergreen perennial, however it gets very rough and shaggy looking during the winter. Uh, so this perennial, even though the mice do not eat it, uh, you may cut it back now, or if you wish to keep this for winter interest and you don't have other perennials around that they might eat, which is our case here, there's nothing else the mice would eat, uh, you may wait till spring, and then in spring you'll be sure and want to come in with your pruning shears or your head shears and cut this right down to the ground before it starts to progress with new shoots. This plant totally replaces its foliage every year. If it's out in the open, you can even run over it with a mulching lawnmower setting on the mulching setting to be short enough that you just have little stubble and you get rid of all this rangy, ugly, burned up of foliage. 